Microsoft is welcoming in five startups into the blockchain and digital asset program. What does this mean for MasterCard getting into the blockchain industry and in space? What does this mean for these specific startups? We're going to dive into it, narrow them down and talk about them specifically. So welcome back to the Blockhash podcast channel. Uh, make sure to check out our Substack, blockhash.substack.com to get all this in your inbox every single week and to stay on top of all the new stuff that we're producing in terms of content and exclusive content, podcast episodes, all of that. Um, behind the scenes, whatnot, whatnot. Be sure to check it out. Uh, we're going to dive into this article, give you my thoughts at the very end, as we always do. So MasterCard's Start Path Blockchain Digital Asset Program has expanded into including five new startups aiming to explore innovative uses of blockchain technology. Digital assets are becoming increasingly mainstream, speeding up commerce with trust and transparency, says uh, MasterCard. So on Wednesday, they announced five startups from around the world will join its Start Path Blockchain Digital Asset Program. MasterCard is working with startups globally uh, to scale new blockchain digital assets and Web3 solutions more generally. And the Start Path Program offers these high potential startups collaboration opportunities, bespoke training, access to MasterCard's extensive customer base and channels over a virtual four-month period. Since its inception in 2014, the program has supported over 400 startups from 54 countries. The five companies joining the program include France-based Kulipa, which enables next-generation crypto payment card issuing for digital wallets. The second company is UK-based Parfin, develops enterprise-grade software products that help financial institutions adopt blockchain technology. The third company, Singapore-based Peak, offers permissionless borderless digital infrastructure and that's just some big words there uh, for real world applications utilizing vehicles machines robots and devices the next company us-based triangle focuses on sustainability through a data platform that integrates climate data with finance the last company joining the program is belgium-based venly which simplifies blockchain integration for developers and businesses supporting industry growth and digital transformation uh, what's really cool about this is it really is a global effort bringing in companies from the U.S., from Belgium, from France, the U.K., Singapore, um, really showing a wide diversity in who they're choosing for these programs and reaching out to startups all around the world um, as long as they're viable for the program and they deem them worthy enough. So it's awesome to see them that inclusive and encouraging different viewpoints of the technology from God knows where. But... It's really cool to see stuff like this. I think a lot of large companies, especially within fintech, need to continue to do this like MasterCard is. And I believe Visa has done this as well and encourage companies and startups and projects and chains to uh, partner with these large legacy companies to develop out solutions. Because the reason MasterCard is doing this, it's not just because it's for the good of the world. And for the good of finance, they're doing it to develop services and products that they can eventually offer patents and implement themselves and maybe even acquire these companies at some point. So, you know, I, I think it's something that's going to happen very soon. They're fleshing out the best, of the best. They're trying to get the best IP. They're trying to get the best solutions, the best uh, SaaS companies and interfaces and integrations. It would work well in a fintech solution for cross-border payments, for digital payments, maybe for invoicing or direct deposits or payroll or who knows. Um, there's a lot of applications, general credit, maybe even loans. Um, the DeFi space is pretty interesting, you know, for fintech and kind of branching out and being able to do different things with pooling money and liquidity. So um it's a good sign to see mastercard doing this i believe more companies will continue to do this as well and very soon you're going to see a mastercard-esque company come out and say we're going to do this and that's going to be huge because it's great to see these asset managers investing into etfs and ethereum having an etf bitcoin having an etf and you know crypto benefiting from investment but investment is only one part of this giant equation a large chunk of it is use cases. Like we need applications. We need to be able to use it. How do we apply this technology to solve real world problems and make things better? And that's what MasterCard hopefully is aiming to do by promoting these companies and giving them a spotlight. And the more that we see this and we see that these companies come out and you know ring the bell with their possibilities and, and their use cases, applications, platforms, 
that will have a lasting impact on the space. Like you want real mainstream adoption, you need places for people to go and tools and things for people to use and access, solve problems. Uh, once blockchain is implemented in that way, and it's starting to be very slowly, but it will increasingly be over the next half decade, um, that's what will bring tremendous value to the space. Because we're talking about locking in value on chain. We're talking about tokenization. We're talking about liquefying things that weren't liquefiable in the first place. Um, you know, eliminating points of friction within systems, eliminating middlemen, fixing contracts, helping healthcare and helping the legal industry and the court system. And, you know, there's so many things that we can do. Um, so we need to see more pilot programs, sandboxes, things like this, um, programs where you have a large company like MasterCard really pushing the needle forward. So um, kudos to MasterCard for doing that. And to these startups for getting into the program. And I'm excited to see what comes out of that. And hopefully other companies will follow suit. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Give the video a like, share with a friend, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, thank you so much. I will see you on the next episode.